Ghostbusters 101 issue number 3 from IDW Comics is available today. And this is the one we've all been waiting for as this issue contains the first meeting between the original Ghostbusters team and the Answer the Call crew. Now the comic kicks off at the Ghostbusters warehouse facility as the Ghostbusters experience venture has now kicked off. For those out of the loop, this venture was put into place after the Ghostbusters received a huge fine from the city and somehow allowing everyday schmucks to put on proton packs and bus ghosts in a safe zone will allow them to pay off the fine and bring in extra revenue. Speaking of past issues, you may remember in issue number two, the 101 class was messing around with that interdimensional portal. It's noted that the team is now being treated more like interns rather than would-be Ghostbusters. Which is pretty justified, because as I mentioned in the issue two review, that's a pretty dangerous thing to do. We're then presented with Jillian Holtzman being woken up by her roommates, and wait, is that the apartment from Friends? In astonishment, Holtzman looks at the television and sees the Ghostbusters. Not her team, but the original 1984 crew. To help add to this confusion, it's also shown that there are now two Statues of Liberty within New York City. The Answer the Call crew meet up at headquarters, of course, the firehouse, to find it empty of their equipment. In disbelief, Abby yells for Kevin, and she gets Kevin? The IDW Kevin, not the Answer the Call Kevin, not the one based around that hunky Chris Hemsworth. That's not to say that the blonde, dim-witted Kevin doesn't appear, because he does, with Egon. Now, going forward in this issue, I am going to be as spoiler-free as possible because I honestly believe it's some of the best writing I've ever seen in a Ghostbusters comic from IDW. As well, these two frames could be the greatest thing ever featured in an IDW Ghostbusters comic. Wait, actually, I think I may have to take that back because Venkman and Yates arguing over who's the real Ghostbusters could be my new favorite thing. Speaking of the real Ghostbusters, they're in this too. How do they fit in? You'll need to buy the comic to find out. All the while this is going on, we're given some absolutely hilarious banter between Patty and Winston. Heck, even check out Holtzman here, potentially ruffling a few feathers with extreme Ghostbusters original Kylie Griffin. Readers are also presented with a gripping plot twist that explains why there's other Ghostbusters in other dimensions, and they're wearing flight suits, using the logo, busting with proton packs, and even living in firehouses. Once again, some of the best writing I've ever seen in these comics. You know what? That's it. Seriously, this issue number three of Ghostbusters 101, I don't want to spoil anything else for you. Okay, maybe I'll spoil one more thing. As we look ahead next month to issue number four, it appears that both teams collectively are going to be going out on a group bust. Excitement is in the air. So yeah, it's safe to say that we're going to be back here again next month for the issue number four review. And if you'd like to pre-order issue number four or pick up some missing comic books in your Ghostbusters IDW collection, we've got links right down below in the description for you. Or you can support your local comic book shop and get Ghostbusters 101 added to your pool list. That's all I have for you here today, and we'll see you right back here next time on Ghostbusters News. Alright, no one dies tonight